Hello and welcome to the show. I have some good news today as we are finally, hopefully, going to be getting the hot rod. The hot rod working. So I went around the uh, junkyard a couple of times. I actually came across another 911. Typically, I, I seem to have this luck with cars. It takes me forever, forever to find a single one. And then two come along very, very quickly. So yeah, I have got uh, two Porsche 911s. We will be working on them uh, at some point today. However, in my search around the junkyard, the primary reason for searching the junkyard was to find one of these. The scoop air filter that is needed to complete the engine on the hot rod. Now, I found about three of these in the past. None of them were above 15%, so none of them were repairable. I am really hoping that we can get this one here done and not bugger it up. We have, we have got the filter at last. <laughs> Thank God for that. I also got the. I also found. Or I just happened to uh, look through the. Um, yeah, through one of the junk parts, having to find a roof as an option for this. Uh, there we go. So we can actually have a roof for the hot rod if we so wish. Still can't find a boot. I uh, have got a, have got another hot rod, so we can get finally get the attire that we need for this particular corner. And now we will get rid of the lovely shiny, uh, whatever it was called, um, scoop. I think uh, just just air scoop. There we go. Yeah, just general general scoop, and that. Is the engine complete? I think. Ah, no, it's not. Ah, okay, we haven't got either clip there. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Please tell me, because this has got a largely. Oh, no, this doesn't have. This has actually got a fairly more complete engine than I have seen from a lot of, uh, of these vehicles, but typically this one. Oh, we're going to need to find some bloody clip bees. Ah, god damn it! I, there was there was much excitement. Oh, maybe the Porsches, because you see, I get technically cheating, kind of ish, um, because the Porsches I'm not going to be rebuilding in the same manner. Uh, so I guess if I can steal the right part off these, then we're all good. But aha, uh, you have got a distributor. Let me guess, you're not going to have a single clip on you though. Of course you aren't. <laughs> Oh, bloody typical. Bloody typical. I thought we were I thought we were there. I thought we were there, but we are still not. Either way, we have made substantial progress. We have made substantial progress on the hot rod front in that the biggest pain in the ass, the clips will be easier to find. The biggest pain in the ass bit has been acquired. Let's go and steal both of the front wheels just to be on the safe side get the tires hopefully one of these tires will be in a good enough condition to be repairable if it isn't we have another little cry because these cars are difficult enough to find at the best of times anyway where am i going over here right separate parts <sighs> piss <laughs> uh that's not good that's not good either because yeah those tires aren't going to be fixable this has literally been the most difficult thing imaginable. It really, really has been just the most difficult, difficult rebuilds. When I, when I set out to build it in a different manner, when I set out to build it, you know, using just reclaimed parts and using various donor cars, we use a lot of donor cars to uh, get the, um, to get the vehicle to the stage it is at the moment. I haven't counted, but I think it's about five or six, I think it's six now with the, this pink hot rod. And we still have got stuff missing. Some of the bits have had to be scavenged from the uh, junkyard. Most have come from donor cars, but uh, yeah, that's the only repairable bit of that lot. Well, I mean, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to install a uh, Rim Retro 3. That's what we want. Now, I will go and put on one of these 205. We'll put on the better condition 205 tyre. Now, it's not ideal and it's not going to stay on the car. However, if I put this on the vehicle, I can actually now begin to move it around. Rather than having it just stuck on this lifter, it was a real faff to move the vehicle around. 
had to find some wheels from another car to put on it so I could swap swap what lifter it was on. That's just just how it's had to be going. So I I guess the good progress is that we can at least move the damn vehicle. The bad progress is I was really hoping to drive it today, and apparently that isn't going to be the case. Take that wheel, and then we will yeah install that on here. We should now have a vehicle that can go and sit somewhere different if needed. If we go and stick this in the Okay, fantastic, we can. So we can get it out of the way, we can go and put it in the paint shop. Now this won't have anything that I don't already have on the vehicle. Uh, let's just grab the bench out of it, perhaps. Uh, oh, Christ, do we actually need to go sit on the damn car? Uh, normal mode, please. Uh, interior disassemble, let's grab that. I can't remember, did you have... Uh, now I've got to put it in a paint booth. Did you actually have seats in here? No, you don't. Now let's go see if these seats... Maybe that'll be a better outcome than initially expected. If these seats are repairable, that'd be really helpful. Uh, no, apparently there's a wheel that's a... That was 100% and now is is back to... I'm very, very confused. <laughs> I'm very confused at all of that. Uh, okay. The... Hmm. The benches are not something that can be fixed at all. That's odd. Maybe if I repair anything, mod's broken again. I don't think so, though, because normally I don't think you'd be able to repair the filters. That is strange. Uh, very easy way to test all of this. Let's just go get rid of the uh, fan over here. Uh, oh, that's a terrible, terrible condition. Are any of these belts? Okay, so that belt is at 26%. If I can repair the belt, then... Yeah, okay, so something about the seats is a little bit conky, but there we go. Right, this is surplus to requirements. Don't need the this hot rod anymore. It served its, served its purpose. It got us... Uh, kind of served its purpose. It got us tyres, but they're not good enough condition. It doesn't have the bits we need on the distributor, so that can be gone. Uh, we will, well, not really make any money on the car. I don't really actually lose any money. Uh, we could, I guess, potentially make maybe a bit of cash. It might be worth doing this. Move out to lift B and use, fix up the look. <laughs> That is impressive colours. Uh, no, it wasn't really worth doing it, but never mind. Somebody can have that as a project vehicle. I don't want it anymore. <sighs> Bloody hot rod. Bloody hot rod indeed. Now, I probably have checked everything here before I went and uh, got rid of the other one. Now we have got everything like spark plugs and wires and all of that kind of guff. That's all. It's all ready. It's literally now just waiting for a tyre. Uh... Tire too, because oh, are you a leaf spring U bolt. I didn't know we were missing one of those. Um, okay, apparently we need. Uh, mm, well, we're gonna have to find another one of these regardless, because I need to find a tire. So <laughs> there we go. We're hiding the hot rod away now. Oh, it was it was looking like I was hoping it was gonna be an exciting, day, and it's not gonna be as exciting a day. Oh well. Uh, onto a Porsche now, though. You know, that's 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 a positive. We've got a Porsche to be working on. Uh, so, yeah, let's go and move this uh, equipment around. Now, the 911, much like the GT40 replica that I was playing around with, it wasn't too expensive to buy. I mean, the current valuation is 7,000. I think I paid about six to eight thousand. One of these was six, one was eight. I can't remember which one was uh, which one was which. So, relatively cheap to buy the. Uh, buy the car from the junkyard might not be worth quite as much as the Aston Martin by the time it's done but we saw with the GT40 as well that it actually turned out to be uh, still quite valuable uh, once it was finished so you never know you never know this one actually looks like it comes with a lot of the glass which is quite nice I still haven't got the glass for the uh, hot rod either I mean that will come maybe later it might end up without windows <laughs> So it might end up without windows. I'm not going to keep the roof on it particularly, so I kind of got less to worry about really. Um, well, that was most of the uh, most of the bodywork that we have on the car off now. Yes, it does have slightly the wrong engine. It should have a got a flat six. It doesn't have a flat six. There there isn't an option for a flat six in this game, so it does have an inline six. It's just working with what you can uh, within the uh, within the game. Oh, all of the millions of little camshaft caps in this one. 
Uh, you probably want to actually rip the engine out rather than doing it in there. It'll be easier in the long run. Uh, look at the C. Well, oh, of course it goes to the front of the... <laughs> Gotta remember, we had this with the... Um, Oh, no. Uh, we had this with the Ford, of course, where the, the the lift is used to going to the front of the vehicle to pull stuff out, rather than going to the, the back of the rear and the mid-engine cars and so on. So, there we go. Uh, I just wanted to add... It's a little bit weirdly worded, I find, but never mind. Uh, do we have... Let's play the other game of do we have a single bearing on any of the... <laughs> nope. Nothing. Not a single bearing in there. But most of the bearings for the top bit, of course. I really cannot keep the bottom halves of these engines together whatsoever. Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces on this. Doesn't look like the most complete engine. Uh, the other, neither of the Porsches actually have got particularly uh, complete engines here. I don't think the i6 was too terrible, if I remember rightly. The Aston Martin would have been the last vehicle I worked on with this engine. You do get the I actually get a few i6s in the older American cars. There's like a i6 variant now for a lot of them. There's quite a few different variants going for the uh, the game's basic cars, if you will. And yeah, i6s are a, like a lower a lower spec model, if you like. Uh, of course, it's going to do that this time around. However, that's a that's a real real basic i6. This one here is a little bit uh, a little bit fancier. Uh, not still not the most powerful of oh, most powerful of engines that you can possibly work on, but it's not quite as awful as <laughs> as some, I guess. Yes, it's somewhere roughly roughly around the middle. Shame you can't make them real ridiculously powerful at the moment. As I said, I believe tuning DLC is not so far away. And there are, you can find various performance parts as you scour around in the uh, junkyard. At the moment there's no use for them, you can't do anything uh, with them because the engines will accept them. However, they are around about the, uh, the place. Uh, this uh, engine head has actually got a decent number of bolts holding it in. Rather than normal, just slide, <laughs> slide the head off once you've undone everything inside it. But there we go. Oh, pistons are largely buggered in here. Uh, while I'm not doing the whole must you only use reclaimed parts and so on, I will make the most of having stumbled upon a second Porsche quite conveniently. Uh, while while it's here, you don't actually go set out to buy two of these vehicles. It's, it's very very weird. It's very weird. Um, <laughs> I go out looking for something different, and I end up finding a Porsche, and well, the Porsche is there, you might as well use it. Uh, but then when I go off again looking for parts for the hot rod, it's just the uh, second one spawns, I think about the third third junkyard I go to, having already, or having just got a nine. It's, it's yeah. It, it's peculiar, but there we go. Right, time to uh, repair up. Oh, I managed to break bits of the bodywork. That's a little bit uh, unfortunate. Time to repair up this stuff, and see what we're left with. Okay, didn't take as long to repair up all of the engine stuff as I had uh, as I had expected, but I think a lot of it was already quite knackered to begin with. A lot of it was just beyond repair anyway, so that's not necessarily so great, but to be expected to an extent with these engines. Uh, can't put crankshaft at the moment. Water pump pulley we can do. Well, that's good. That's about the one thing that we, in fact... Without putting the crankshaft in, I don't think I can stick anything. Oh, I guess I could probably do the clutch. Oh no, I can't do the clutch. Of course I can't. Uh, well, that's 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 the <laughs> that's the engine started. That's as much as we can do. We've got rim retro nine on this. Unfortunately, I don't know of any other cars that have. Uh, well, other cars have white wall tires. I think the Bel Air. What was it called? Del Delray Custom might be one that has white walls on it. They're probably going to be too big though for the hot rod because a car like this might have roughly similar sized tyres. might even have 205s on the front of course but it's not going to have the uh, the white wall tyres and that's part of the... I was going to say appeal and part of the visuals if you like of the hot rod. I think it looks much better having it on the uh, on the white wall tyres. These, yeah, maybe a little bit on the... Uh, too big a side regardless even if they happen to be in good enough condition and I certainly don't want to have uh, lopsided amounts of tyres 
It's just going to be one of those... Uh, one of those searches. We had the giant search for the bloody... Um, scoop filter thing. And now we're going to be searching for a, another hot rod. We hit car number 7 or 8 or whatever uh, to go into that into that vehicle. It'll. Be, I'll, I'll be really pleased with it when it's done. I'll be really pleased with it. I'll be really happy with it and I won't be selling the hot rod when it's done. But at this particular moment in time, I'm not a huge fan of the car currently. Hence why it has been banished to the paint booth where it shall sit and it shall stay until I pluck up the courage to go searching around the junkyard again for another... for another... another hot rod to steal a tyre off of. But uh, there we go. <laughs> As is the... Uh, as is the way with Car Mechanic Simulator. I did read somewhere about uh, potentially for the future having ways of searching through more specialised areas. Uh, so having, you know, junk piles more likely to have, let's say, V8 parts or um, V6 parts and all that kind of thing. You might be able to go to uh, a more specialised junkyard. It would be quite an interesting thing to have and it would save a lot of time. Like, I, I like going around and searching through all the stuff, seeing what you find, but it does take an awful long time if you are trying to get to a couple of bits specifically. So uh, with a, a more specialised area, maybe it'll cost a lot more to buy the parts, or maybe it'll cost more to go to the to the place, or maybe it'll only appear every so often, something like that. But uh, it'd be an interesting, yeah, an interesting way to do these, these car restorations. Because I said, I had, I've had much more fun uh, messing around with building these being able to repair everything, I don't repair everything part is a, is a mod, but certainly being able to sort of scavenge more parts rather than just go straight to the shop to buy it uh, is a really interesting way of uh, of doing things, of, of building cars, even if it does mean it might take you a while to finish the car you are working on. Again, it's kind of part of the part of the deal when it comes to car restoring. <laughs> as far as I I'll say, as far as I know, personally, never never restored a car, but I. Uh, from, from what I know of it, yeah, you, you, there is a lot of faffing around trying to find the uh, right parts for rarer vehicles, shall we say. As far as technicality goes with this particular Porsche, again, it's a slight, it's a slight different configuration uh, on here. We don't have any, I guess, kind of main rear drive axles going on because, well, the engine's where that would normally be. It's... There is no basic car in this game that has mid or rear engine rear wheel drive. So as far as any form of, of axles and so on go, they're just not they're not there at the, at the moment. There's only no like main connecting ones. Just these bits here connect to the chassis and that's that's that, basically. Uh oh god. Uh, we've got these sway bar rear endlings. I don't actually remember taking off the sway I don't remember taking the sway bar off, to be fair, thinking about it. This is a junk car, so it may not have uh, come with one. <laughs> that would uh, explain my direction, I guess. Uh, technically, there could be a rear, like, drive axle? Um, but this just be missing it? No, because I think that would have to be... All of these would have to be connected, or you'd expect all of these to be connected to a, like a main central axle or whatever, and they aren't, so there we go. That looks like we've got everything out of the Porsche. I don't think we've got the battery, so let's go grab that one. We will get the seat out of here as well. Oh, not that one. Uh, we want to go interior, disassemble. Yeah, I will take you. Uh, normal mode. Let's stick the battery on charge. Over there. And then we will have more spam clicking to do. Then we will see how we are faring, how, how, how things are looking when it comes to repairing our our Porsches. Well, it wasn't the greatest repairing session, if I am honest. Broke more parts than I would have liked, and I think annoyingly included in all of that was the front cross member. Let's go and put you go go away. Place equipment back. Perfect. Please tell me I didn't bugger this up. Please. Ah. God damn, fuel tank's gone as well. Crap. That's a lot of, uh, say a lot of a lot of mess. Didn't really do a particularly good job, apparently, with this. At least we have got steering knuckles. One of those was saved. Now, the front cross member will probably be borrow borrowable borrowable. We can steal it from the other car. 
<laughs> let's go. Let's go with that instead as the sentence, rather than trying to make up words that my brain is really, apparently, really struggling to pronounce. Uh, yeah, okay, we can't really do much more with the front here because we need that frame because that's where everything gets mounted to. I think uh, maybe I didn't break a brake caliper, or maybe one's still hanging around from the last pull apart I did of a car. Hey, we got the front sway bar at least. That's I guess something. Uh, we don't have fuel tank. Steering knuckle we do have. I don't know where these came from. How we have extra ones of these lying around. Is that the last vehicle I pulled apart? Or is the back using front bits? I guess that's not impossible. It's, uh, we've got the, sort of the front bits going on back there. We have got a bearing to go in there nicely. We have got a wheel hub as well. We don't have any vented discs anymore. Don't think I put bearings in this side. I did not. And that, oh, didn't mean to do that at all. Get the horrible rust out of my nice Porsche. We don't want horrible rust in the nice Porsche. Uh, part mount, there we go. Perfect. Now, let's go check out the back of this car. What was this using? I know that is, it is a rear, a rear part. So there we go. They're both gone beyond use. That's is still working. Oh, I've got both of the rear hubs. That's at least something. We repaired, I think, got most of the bushings as well, which is always helpful. The less of those we have to worry about, the better. Yeah, we might have enough to complete a half of the car. Probably not quite going to have enough. I so say probably. We're definitely not going to have enough to complete both sides. I wouldn't expect necessary. I say I wouldn't expect necessary. I wouldn't expect to with the uh, level of condition the parts come off the vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> Having everything managed to be repairable is uh, not, not going to happen. Right, spring cap, rear spring, and cap up there. Good. Oh, up there's not what I wanted. Sway bar end link is what I wanted. Okay, do we have a... Yeah, we have a solitary brake disc, and that can go on. We have got enough calipers, we've got enough cylinder. Actually, no, tell a lie, I think we're going to need to find a cylinder of some description somewhere. We have got another bearing for it, though, and the drive axle will go in to kind of finish off that corner. Can I even start on this corner? Uh, oh, we can. We can at least make some progress, some, some small semblance of progress. We're going to need a lot more rubber bushings. Oh, that hasn't been a problem for a while. I had not missed that. No, <laughs> I had I had not missed that particularly. And the rest is all crap. Ooh. Okay, I've only just see where the radiator goes. That's interesting. Well, that is going to be. It's going to be it for now. I am quite sad we couldn't get that hot rod up and running today. It's always something. There's always something with that car. I think there might always, always be. Either way, the Porsche is now starting to take shape quite nicely. We're going to have to tear the other one apart to get various bits and pieces, though. Uh, couldn't quite repair enough. And typical, typical, some fairly critical pieces of this engine um, were not repairable, i.e. the crankshaft that's needed for almost everything else to go on it. So, yeah, there we go. At least most of the running gear is in uh, relatively good nick. That, though, is going to be it from me. Uh, as ever, I shall link all of the mods I've used in the description, so you can download them, have a go with them yourself. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.